Hey campers, Stamet here. I'm actually in the uh, Camp Friedlander dining hall today, so greetings to everybody. I'm filming this on Earth Day, though it won't be released on Earth Day, so I hope that everyone enjoyed their Earth Day and did something uh, ecologically or globally significant to enjoy that. Uh, today, for Scouting at Home for our video series, I am feeling like showing you how to do a simple do-it-yourself at home cooking uh, session. And what we're going to be doing is one of my favorites, donuts. Krispy Kreme is actually from my hometown and I've been missing having some fresh hot donuts. So this is a simple one that with a parent or guardian's permission and assistance, any scout of any age can help with. So let's take a look at some of the things we're gonna need. It's a very simple setup and it will be delicious and rewarding. So for our donuts today, you need any can of canned biscuits, doesn't matter what kind, size, flavor, just get them. Same with the fry oil. You just need a frying oil in which to fry your soon-to-be donuts. Again, does not matter what flavor or type or brand, just have fun. Then, to make the donuts even more delicious, I've chosen to grab some powdered sugar, some cinnamon, ground cinnamon, or in the dining hall there was even some of that prefabbed cinnamon sugar stuff, so you've got some options for making your donuts delicious. We're going to put these things inside, not one, but two brown paper bags. And that's the fun part, it's when you get to shake the powder onto your donuts. Then I have a small tray for prep space, tongs for handling the hot donuts, a vessel in which to set the finished product, and a toothpick holder, Philmont Scout Ranch brand, that we can use to make the holes. Finally, and here's the important part, is I have a uh, small skillet with some fry oil heating up. Remember, do not use stoves, ovens, or any flavor of hot cooking without assistance and permission from a parent or guardian. Okay, not a lot of prep work that goes in here while the oil is heating up. I've cut a small hole in the top corner of my powdered sugar. I'm gonna dump some of that in. Doesn't take a lot. Depends on how big your family is, how many donuts you're gonna eat. And I doubled up these paper bags because the brown paper is going to be excellent for absorbing some of that oil. And you know what? I'm gonna dump in a little bit of cinnamon as well. You know what, why not? It's your donuts, you can put whatever you want to on them. Helps if I actually stay tuned on the thing. So I've got powdered sugar and cinnamon there. You missed the fun part where I whomp the can of biscuits against the countertop and it goes poof, but that's okay. So uh, these are the kind that apparently turn out flaky and have little bits of butter in them. So when I told you it doesn't matter what kind, I might have been wrong, but let's find out. Next, I have my toothpick holder and I'm gonna make my donut holes. Rub them around in there real good and look at that, isn't that something? Here we go. Take that guy out, set him off to the side. Repeat again with his buddy. All right. Yeah. So, now we have two donut holes, two donuts. Oh, looks like that wasn't the cleanest tray. That's all right, it'll eat just fine, we'll fry it up. So, let's see how these go. Next, we're going to take one of your donuts, and very gently, very carefully, we're gonna set it in the oil, nice and easy. So we're gonna fry that, let it fry. It won't take long at all, especially once your oil is good and hot. See, that crisped up almost immediately. There you go. So, we'll grab my bag, my powdered sugar here, set them off and to the side, ready. Comes a donut, let the excess oil drip off of it. Remember, parents' help is always good. And we just drop it in the bag. Now comes the fun part. So I just put the donut in the bag with the powdered sugar. Now we're gonna close it up and shake the devil out of them. <laughs> Switch hands. Whoa, oh, well that smells good. All right, wait a minute, now. Remember, may still be hot. May still be hot when you're done. Oh, look at that. We got us a donut. Set it in the pan. Let's repeat the process, shall we? Okay, so now I've got the next one. In fact, I'm gonna grab one of the holes too. Remember, it's still pretty good and hot. So you're gonna take this nice and easy. Yeah, 
And then this one as well. Plump them down and in. Get my bag back while those are frying. And these don't take hardly any time at all. I promise. That's why it's such a quick, convenient, and easy treat. And you can just keep doing them up ones and twos at a time. Don't go into too big of a batch because then some are gonna get lost and they will end up frying up and getting a little browner than you would like them. So just take your time, fry them up nice and easy. La 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 la, making donuts so delicious. So we've done one hole and two donuts. Oh, it's steaming, still warm, just a little cinnamon -y, -y, y Oh, that's so nice. So, hope that you enjoyed, oh, learning how to do these donuts. Spectacular. Now remember, if your oil is too hot, then they're going to brown on the outside and still be a little doughy on the inside, in which case just turn the, vo um, turn the volume, turn the heat back down a little bit and throw them back in for a second. It's not a big deal. And if you mess them up, throw them away. Fry yourself another one. It's just a can of biscuits. It's a good learning experience. So, hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good living. So, hope you've enjoyed learning how to make your own donuts at home. It's simple and easy, and you can use whatever kinds of stuff to shake on them you want. If you don't have a bag to shake them in, set them out, and just sprinkle your topping of choice on. Have fun. So, we'll see you next time on Scouting at Home, and I'm going to finish the rest of these donuts. Bye, folks.